Hello, veteran 021 here, and welcome to a shitty fucking game from my childhood. And this game is called Draken. This is quite possibly one of the worst fucking games I've ever played in my life. I'm not saying it's the worst game I've ever played, but it's pretty damn close. Four elements form the universe. Okay, that sounds familiar. Two poles govern these elements. Uh, what, you mean like the North and South Pole? Is that what you're talking about right now? These eight principles proceed from all. Alright. All is as the phoenix. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Alright, this game's already lost me. This fucking bullshit doesn't make any sense. Mithraton Ultimate Magus. Uh, alright. Well, thanks. So, we can select a file here and, uh,. I guess it's file one or two. We can choose to start uh, with a pre-generated group of adventurers, or we can create a party. So let's go ahead and create a party, I guess. Uh, so we can choose a gender here for our fucking character, either a man or a woman. I'm going to go with a man for the first character. And then a fighter, I guess. Yeah, I have to do post-commentary for this, because for some reason it didn't record my microphone when I recorded this. I don't feel like recording it again because this game sucks. And yes, I'm going to name my character Manly Man. He's a fighter, so he's a manly man. That's what manly men do. They fight. Yeah, I don't like doing post post gameplay commentary, but I kind of have to. So, yeah, in this part right here, you gotta hit the B button to roll the frickin' stats down there. As you can see, there's a bunch of values like 16, 9, 17, and all this other shit. Uh, and you basically choose uh, which numbers you want to um, correspond to the different stats up there, like power, agility, intelligence, knowledge, and physique. So this it's pretty typical character generation uh, system that you got going on for this game. So this part of the game actually works. I don't mind this aspect of the game where you, uh, you know, choose your classes and your and you name your 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 character and you choose their gender and shit. But we're about to find out pretty soon here why the fuck uh, I don't like this character generation system, anyways. Because they don't really give you a choice uh, of classes. And yeah, you can choose the next class, gender. And see, look at this. If I wanted a party of fucking four fighters, you can't do that in this game. You can't fucking do that. They don't give you the option. Which is bullshit. Fucking bullshit. So, we're gonna choose a scout, I guess, next, right? And yeah, I'm gonna name this guy Friar Tuck. I get done thinking here. Kind of like the music playing here, though. But that's about it. I mean, it's not that great. I like it purely because it's like I don't know. I just I just like it for some reason. I don't like it because it's good. I just like it because it's corny. So yeah, I'm going to sit here and fuck around with stats for a little bit and what I think is probably going to be good for these characters, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters what your fucking stats are. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to choose a woman for this magician here. And, uh... 
can't I can't remember what I put down for her name. Margaret, I think. I think I used Margaret for her fucking name. I don't know. I don't fucking care. This game sucks. Margaret the Magician! Woo! So yeah, I gotta choose her fucking stats, which is a pain in the ass. Can I fast forward this bullshit? I'm fast forwarding it. Yeah, the last character I named Gertrude. But it doesn't really matter. Fuck it. It's bullshit. When the dragons were destroyed, a new world was born. But the humans may be destroyed. The humans failed to heed the gods' advice and wiped out the dragons, so the gods made a new world. One for the dragon, half human, half dragon. The new dragon island world was divided into four parts. They were earth, fire, air, and water. Each area is ruled by two dragons. The human world is in danger of being destroyed by the dragon. But the gods have granted the humans a final chance for survival. They will be spared if they can collect the eight tears on the Draken Island. Start your quest by inquiring at Prince Hodkin's castle. His castle lies before you. Good, go forth and may luck be with you. Oh god, we're gonna need fucking luck, I tell ya. Alright, so in this game, it's like a fucking 3D perspective. You just kind of wander around and... Blah, enemies come out of nowhere and you fucking attack them. And your characters, they basically just randomly attack the enemy. You just rub up against them. You don't hit any buttons to attack them. Your characters basically just do whatever the fuck they want to do. If you get close to an enemy, they might attack or they might get fucking... I don't know. This game sucks. I got some boots from that last battle, and, uh, what am I doing here? Well, you see, what? I was trying to fucking go to a menu to figure something out, and guess what? We get attacked by some random blob of shit. What the fuck? So, Manly Man got some boots, and, uh... the fuck? Okay, so yeah, this is how you check your equipment and equip stuff. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I already have a fucking pair of boots, so I don't need another pair. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna keep exploring. Yeah, I'm gonna bash up against the fucking tree, because it's fun. And, uh, we're gonna fight another random fucking enemy that comes out of nowhere. And listen to the sound effects and look at the animations for this fucking game. I mean, it sucks. It's fucking horrible. So this is the castle we're supposed to fucking go to, right? And yeah, that's how we uh, select different characters to control, although it really doesn't fucking matter because it just doesn't. I don't know why you would even switch unless you're trying to pick up a certain item with, with a certain character. I don't think you can drop stuff in this game either, which is bullshit. Like, you know, if I want to drop a sword and give it to my fucking magician or whatever so he can have a sword, I can't fucking do that in this game, or at least I don't think you can. I never figured out how to. I mean, the menu system is a fucking mess in this game. It's horrible. And yeah, I'm screwing around there with the magic selection. I, I have no idea what the fuck that means. You have just stepped into the castle of the Earth Prince Hordkin. Okay, am I gonna fucking move along here, or what? Okay, here we go. So, I'm exploring this room now. As you can see, we got a bunch of triangle fucking switches that look like Triforces from The Legend of Zelda. And, uh, we got a bunch of barriers around these fucking doors. So basically what it comes down to is you gotta choose the right fucking switch or else a fucking enemy will come out of nowhere and attack you. 
and I choose the wrong switch probably three times out of four. Get out! Only those with permission may enter here. And yeah, some random blah comes out of nowhere. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this fucking enemy we're fighting. Can you even tell what the fuck it is? I can't. These graphics are so hideously bad and the animations suck and the sound effects are just bad. It's fucking horrible. Friar Tuck got a dagger. Oh, okay. Let's see if I try and figure out how to equip that shit. So yeah, you go through here, you can check your equipment. That's the only part of this game that I actually understand a little bit. Is when you go in there and check your equipment, you can equip stuff. As far as exploring and like actually questing in this game, I have no fucking clue what's going on half the time. And uh, strong energy field blocks your way. From somewhere you hear a voice. Touch my sign. Okay, how would you even think to fucking do that anyways? GET OUT! Only those with permission may enter here! Well... Whatever. I'm gonna kick your ass now. Okay, we got... Yeah, and every time you kill enemies you get Jade, which I guess is fucking money in this game. So we take a buckler off that wall there, and uh... We give it to whoever it is we're gonna give it to here. Yeah, we can check our stats after uh, equipping stuff. So yeah, that part actually makes sense. I don't mind that part. It's just everything else in this game fucking sucks. Like, trying to figure out how to do shit. Like, right now I'm going to hit this fucking switch. I mean, how are you supposed to tell which switch is the right fucking switch? I mean, there's like two different types of switches in... What the fuck? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Two of my characters already bit the fucking dust. You gotta be shitting me, man. Of this random fucking dude. Blah! Blah! This game is a fucking piece of shit. Now, I understand most of my hatred for this game stems from the fact that I just don't understand it and can't figure it out. But honestly, if you look at this game, it's a mess. I mean, the graphics just well like I won't say the graphics are bad I want to say the animations are bad and the battle system is probably the worst most god-awful battle system I've ever seen in a fucking RPG there's no hit detection you don't hit any buttons to attack the enemy it's not menu based at all your characters just do whatever the fuck they want And you walk into a room and you hear random shit and they don't explain where- They don't even explain where the fucking sound's coming from. Is the sound coming from this room or the room that's after this room? Okay, we get some random sparkling hermit. If you should meet Prince Hordka, please tell her this. Her brother has become a terrible enemy of the ninth tier allies. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? We walk into a room, some random sparkly guy appears, says some bullshit, and fucking leaves. Wow. This game is a fucking mess. I don't even know how we're supposed to revive our dead characters in this game. Where am I going now? I'm probably thinking about where the fuck I'm going now. Now, like I said, this is post... Gameplay commentary, unfortunately. I hate doing that, but I have to. But there was no way I was going to fucking lose this footage, because some of this shit is actually pretty funny. Alright, we got a short sword. Figured out how to get some weapons in here, I guess. I don't think they're going to help us too much. But they're there. As a matter of fact, I don't even know how you fucking save in this game. How do you save in this game? I never even figured that out either. I mean, you start like a game file and then I don't even think there's an option to fucking save, is there? I don't know. I don't even fucking care to figure out. I just know that when I played this game as a kid at my friend's house, he had borrowed it from his cousin and uh, his cousin or whatever lived in Indiana. So we had he actually had this game for quite a long time because they didn't visit very often. And... Me and my buddy were sitting, we, we just probably spent like an hour a day trying to figure out how to fucking play this game before we both were like, fuck it. 
<laughs> and we threw in Final Fantasy IV because it was so much superior to this piece of shit game. I mean, honestly, what the fuck? So some some fucking creatures in this castle you fight and some you don't. See, I don't under yeah, I don't fucking understand. I mean, what the fuck? What the hell are, the are those billboards over there? What the hell is that red dot on the billboard? These are the prince's room. No one may enter. Well, we just did. What are you gonna do about it, buddy? Let's hack and slash you to oblivion. It, 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 what? Okay, he was gonna fight us, and then he just fucking flies off the screen. What the fuck is up with that random shit? Dear brother, after the gods' festival, please come to see me. I... I... Uh, what? We must prevent the fire from taking power. I, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Why does this game have so much cryptic shit in it? Why do we keep fighting all these random lizard people? Or dragon people? I don't know. I can't even really tell what the fuck it's supposed to be because the graphics are so... archaic. But you know what? Even archaic graphics, you know, if the game is designed well, uh, can still show you what it's trying to represent. But this game is just all over the fucking place. And apparently we took a key from right there. I don't even know what that key is used for. And... Whoa! Whoa, look at this guy. Welcome, humans! I am Prince Hordkin, Lord of this castle. I have a favor to ask of you. My sister, Princess Hordka, resides in her castle in the east. Go and tell her I wish to see her. I await her kind reply. Okay, well that's great, but... What the fuck is up with this guy? What the fuck? What, what the hell? What's going on with the animations? I mean, he looks like he's having a fucking seizure. It looks like he wants to fight us. I mean, he's like shaking his fist at you like, Rrr, humans! Rrr. At the cross of the four coffins, the total energy will be returned? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I mean, all the dialogue in this game is so unintelligible except when you're talking to something. Everything else is in a fucking riddle. Quickly, go tell Princess Hodka I want to meet her. She is in her castle in the east. Beware. I am hot-tempered. Off with you now! Right. Okay. I, I, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? Why is the animations in this game so fucked up? And what's up with this terrible music? Don't 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 bom bom don't 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 bom bom. Oh wow. Oh yeah, there I'm trying to actually leave, but we're on the second floor, so we can't leave. There's actually an icon down there, that door icon, where it allows you to basically automatically leave a castle or dungeon. But yeah, this right here really blows my mind, because this guy just fucking, yeah, he, he's in there, he's yelling at you, and then he just flies off the screen. What the fuck is up with that? Why does he just fly off the screen like that? I don't, I don't get this game. This game is just a pile of shit. You enter what seems to be a shrine. Okay. Uh... What do we find in the shrine? There's like some kind of throne over there, isn't there? Am I supposed to do something with the throne? So I didn't even try. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I think if you try and grab something on the throne, I don't think anything happens anyways. Get out, you bunch of curs! This place is sacred! Alright, so we enter another random room with a random lizard, dragon, dragon, whatever the fuck it is. We kill him and we get a power helmet. Ooh! A power helmet. That actually sounds like something that might be useful. Maybe. But again, I can't figure out how to give it to another character. I'd probably give it to my fucking fighter, but Fire Tuck got it because he got the finishing blow, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna wander around this room a little bit, trying to figure shit out. I don't think there's anything else in this room, though. What was so sacred about this fucking room anyways? Whoa. 
The blue elixir born of earth and water is in the god's stomach. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, blue elixir? What the hell do we need a blue elixir for? This game is a fucking joke. Now, I understand there are people out there that like this game, and HOLY SHIT A FUCKING GIANT SCORPION! Damn! Where's my other party member at? Why isn't he helping me? Why is he hiding in the other room? Oh, yeah, it's because I got the wrong setting on. But we get a bow and arrow. Ooh, maybe we can actually do ranged attacks in this game. But you know what? I don't even care to fucking try to uh, get that... Uh, to see if that works. Because you know why? The hit detection in this game sucks anyways. I mean, arrows and fireballs fly around the screen. And yet half of them, even though they look like they're connecting, don't even fucking connect. Don't even fucking work. You enter what seems to be a shrine. Yes, thank you for telling me. After I wander around like an idiot for another 30 seconds going, what the fuck do I do? And yeah, I finally used that fucking door icon just to leave. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna be exploring, uh... I don't know, this fucking area, I guess. The overworld. As you can see, this is the fucking map. You got dungeon icons, anic icons, and in icons. I don't even know what a fucking anic is. What the fuck is an anic? And yeah, uh, the only way to tell which direction you're actually facing is to go to the map every two seconds, which is bullshit. No, I understand this is an old game. But there are older games that are much better designed than this piece of shit. I remember loathing this fucking game as a kid, like going, wow, this game sucks, and look at this! You can't even take a swim in this game, you know why? Because you'll fucking die! And while you're drowning, enemies will come out of nowhere and fucking attack you, and look at this! The enemies can walk on fucking water! What are they, Jesus? Oh, and then I'm, my guy after the fight's done is just stupid and just runs back into the water like a dumb shit. And yay! Game over! This game sucks. What a fucking pile of shit. I don't even know why... Why are we pausing right now? Why am I reading that shit? Just get out of there. Oh, yeah, I just screwed up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a fucking explanation. Wow. So I'm gonna wander around like an idiot here for a little bit. Try and figure out how the fuck to get to certain areas. And Yeah, you can't even turn to go to a different direction without being attacked by something in this game. And I can actually make out what this is. It's a fucking snake. Kill the fucking snake. What the fuck, man? I made like, I had like one fucking step and then I was attacked. Wow. Not even a step. It was like a nudge towards a step and I was attacked. I mean, listen to these fucking sound effects, man. I know, I imagine if you actually got into this game and played it, that the enemy sound effects by the end of the game would fucking drive you insane, because they do me already, and I've only been playing for, like, 20 minutes, probably. And already these sound effects for this fucking game, the enemies are just annoying. So it's kind of cool that they have like a 3D effect thing going on right now, but other than that, it's just poorly, poorly designed. Your body condition won't allow you to leave this land. If you leave, you go out to die. Okay, so what does that tell me? Fuck you, I'm gonna venture into this goddamn land because I'm not gonna fucking listen to you, right? What? Your body condition won't allow you to leave this land. Why not? What the fuck? What condition does my body need to be in in order to leave? I I don't understand the, the dialogue. The, your body condition? 
That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. And those fucking arrows over there, whatever the hell those are, that are, like, blocking me from the east, those don't make any sense either. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go east right now to figure out what the fuck those arrows are and why I can't go past them or whatever. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. I'm just wandering around this fucking mess. I mean, you gotta go to your map like every two fucking seconds every time you want to see which direction you're facing. And yeah, a lot of times, yeah, you can't even tell. How about having an on-screen compass or some shit? Would that be okay? Would that be alright for you instead of having to switch to the fucking map every two seconds? Alright, so we're going to come over here, and there's going to be some golden triangles on the ground, which don't make any sense. I mean, what the fuck are they there for? What are, what are they doing? Whoa, what's going on? What is going on right now? Uh... Whoa, hello! That is the weirdest looking fucking T-Rex I've ever seen. It don't even look like a dragon, it looks like a T-Rex! With wings! I mean, look at that thing. And what he's saying doesn't make any sense either. And yeah, it backs us up, but then all of a sudden we get fucking thrown into another dialogue sequence where this dragon just comes out of the sky, lands there, and tells you some random bullshit and goes away. Even Holdkin's castle was left a pile of rubble. To see the rubble... Castle, go east to that intersection. What the hell was that supposed to mean? I don't understand what that means. What, what do they mean by that? Wow, the dialogue for this game is horribly written. The only thing that's good about this game is it does have a day-night cycle, which is kind of cool. I like how they do that. And holy shit, a fucking spider. Kill the spider! Kill! It's Shelob from Lord of the Rings. She wants the precious. Kill her! Kill her now! Alright. So, yeah, right now I'm just wandering around, minding my own fucking business. There's that... I, I still don't understand what these fucking arrows mean. What the fuck are they for? Why are they there? Why are they blocking my path to the east? I'm supposed to go to the east, right? To talk to that princess or some shit? But I can't even go that way. Another fucking spider, okay. But yeah, your characters, you just rub up against the enemy you're fighting and then they randomly attack and... There's like no skill involved in this game. You know, it'd be nice if you could like manually attack, like if there was a button for it, or a button for magic, you know, something, but there's nothing like that in this fucking game, they just do whatever the fuck they want to do. Hello, your body condition won't allow you, blah blah blah. Oh my god, that's fucking stupid. Fucking retarded. Listen to these fucking sound effects, man. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, man, I fucking died. Where are you supposed to get items to heal your characters in this game? That's another thing that fucking puzzles the shit out of me. Is I can never figure out when playing it, this as a kid as to how you fucking heal your characters or anything like that. Where are you supposed to go? What? This guy... Wow. What the frick, man? Alright, so here I think I'm thinking about uh, going to the northwest to maybe check that in out, that first one that's there. So yeah, that's where I'm going right now, I think. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting attacked by random dragon fucks. Still. And even though I have three party members now, I'm still taking all these guys pretty good. The 
Okay, and there's some random bullshit on the ground here. What? Oh, okay, I was gonna say what the hell- Whoa, whoa, what? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What's happening with the stars? Holy shit, it's a giant cobra! Or it's a giant fucking cat? That's flying around shooting fireballs at us? What the fuck is up with this shit? Seriously, what is the purpose of this? Okay, we're wandering around exploring, the star constellation goes fucking haywire, and some fucking cobra comes out of the sky and starts shooting fireballs at us? And look at this! How many fireballs have hit me right now, and I haven't died? Look at the hit detection in this game, it's awful. It is absolutely awful. This is... And I'm sitting here like going, okay, I give up, I'm gonna die, you're gonna kill me, I can't kill you. And look at this, I can't even die, right now I'm getting pissed off because I can't even leave the screen or run away or do anything. I mean, how the fuck do you run away from this? Guess what, you can't. You are basically fucked. You run into an enemy like this in this game, you are basically screwed. Yeah, I like playing RPGs where I just randomly explore and some fucking enemy comes out of the sky like a serpent and starts shooting fireballs at me and I can't even die! He's not even killing me! Kill me already, you fucking piece of shit! Do it! Finally! So look at this shit. What the fuck is up with this shit? What the fuck is this? I mean, he kind of looks like a cat, but... I don't know, it looks to be like a snake or something, but that is the, the worst designed set snake I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's horrible. Wow. So right now I'm getting really fucking pissed off. And, uh... Yeah, I gotta check out that fucking inn. So that's where I'm gonna go. That's where we're going to the fucking end. There's that fucking end. Maybe we can actually buy some items here and, you know, heal our characters and rest, talk to people, you know, do stuff like that in RPGs. If poison take the magic cure quickly, you'll be up beyond help. What? That's it? That's all we're gonna fucking do there? We walk in the place, some random fucking elf tells us something about curing poison and then we leave? What the hell is the purpose of having this here if that's all there is to it? I don't, I don't get it. This, this is fucking, this is bullshit. This game is a mess. This game is an utter mess. Fuck this game. It sucks.